Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to do a pretty heavy training session. We do have some stuff to talk about actually, but the first thing I'm going to do today is get some breakfast. I'm going to prepare a fruit smoothie. First things first, I'm going to put in a whole banana. Next I'm going to put in some strawberries, put in some spinach, and put in some frozen mango chunks. Just a few. And a few flax seeds. And finally, I put some coconut milk. And also what I'm having today with my smoothie, I'm having some muesli. All it is is just oats with raisins in it. And then I have almond milk. Hey Bob. So, I actually do have a couple of trials coming up in July and August, which I'm excited for here in England. I'm not going to talk too much about the teams right now. I will be mentioning that more later on when more developments happen with it, I guess. I'm just trying to keep my options open, explore different opportunities and not commit to anyone right now. So that's very exciting. So I've got to start preparing, got to up my training a little bit more. Also, the team I was playing for in America the professional indoor team, so I was playing for Syracuse, now has new owners. So I was on a two year contract with the team and they've just been bought by some new owners and they've moved the team. So the new name of the team is Utica City FC, so that's pretty exciting. So obviously I'm still figuring out what's gonna be happening here in England, whether or not I'm gonna be going back to the US, I really don't know, everything's kind of up in the air. But that's also an, an exciting option as well. So. Whatever happens this year, I will be playing for a new team. Very much excited for all of these new things. The mission right now is just to get in the best shape I possibly can. So I'm gonna be training every day, eating as healthy as possible, and just getting ready to go. But I'm just gonna finish my breakfast, then I'm gonna do a core workout. So I've decided I'm gonna do core work every single morning for at least 10 to 15 minutes, really strengthen up that core. The core is essential for athletic performance. I could speak all day and all the important reasons why you need to strengthen up your core. You can do all the training in the world, strengthen up all your muscles around your body, but if you don't have a good strong core, you're not gonna be able to use those muscles to their full capacity. Not only are they not gonna be able to work more efficiently, but you're gonna fatigue a lot quicker because basically your core absorbs a lot of the impact through exercise and things like that. So if you are a fast player, you're gonna burn out quickly if you don't have a strong core. You're not going to be able to maintain your top speed throughout the game. But if you do have a strong core, that's going to take most of the impact so that your muscles aren't overworking so they can still remain explosive throughout the match. So make sure you do your own research on why the core is so important, but that's the nutshell reason why you should be strengthening your core. I'm going to finish my breakfast now. I'm going to answer a few emails and then I'll get to the core workout. All right, so we're going to do the core workout now. Again, I'm going to be using the Nike training app. This time we're doing one. Ronaldo actually uploaded some of his workouts. I don't know whether they actually are his workouts, but it's a good ab workout nonetheless, whether it's Ronaldo's or not. But it's called Quick Hit Abs. It's a pretty tough one, I would say. It just gets all the different areas. So it gets the obliques, lower abs, upper abs, and those sort of inner core muscles, those real stabilizing muscles. So I think it's a really good one. I'll probably just set the camera up over here or something. You guys can see all the exercises and I'll put the names of each one on the screen and how long you actually perform them for so let's get into it
So that's core workout done. As you can see, I'm sweating just a little bit. It's just when you're really holding those poses, stabilizing that core, it is hard work. So give that one a go if you can, if you have the app, or you can just write down the exercise that you saw me doing. Give those a go. But yeah, I gotta get my stuff together, and then we gotta get over to the pitch, so let's go. Alright guys, made it to the training pitch. It's a little bit windy, I hope you can hear me. I love biking to training because you get a lot of the warm-up done on your journey. So my legs are really warm, almost ready to go. I do need to do a little bit of stretching and a bit of change of direction, things like that. A bit more football specific movements. But then I can get right into my session. So I'm going to explain what I'm doing today. We're using the entire pitch today, the whole pitch. So it's going to be a good fitness session covering a lot of ground. I've got six stations in total. So we've got one in this corner, one at the halfway line, one in the far corner, other corner, halfway line, and then this bottom corner over here. So six stations in total. So the first station, what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna dribble and weave in and out of these cones. Each time I'm alternating what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do three reps of this entire circuit. So the first time through, I'm using all right foot. Second time through, all left foot. Third time through, gonna use both feet. So we go up with the ball weave, back with the ball weave, and then we leave the ball and then we go out to the ball, weaving in and out of the cones and back again. And then we pick the ball up for about 30 seconds. And then after we've done this drill, what we do is we sprint to the next drill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the ball to the next drill. So then we sprint, then this next drill here. All I'm going to do is going to put the ball on the ground here. You don't need these cones if you don't have them. I'm just using them as a marker for me to sprint to. And then I'm going to do two footed jumps from side to side like that for 30 seconds then again passing the ball to the corner sprinting after it as quick as you can then when we get to this station we're going to do upper body so we're going to do three different types of press ups change it up with each circuit that you do so the first time through we're going to do 10 of the narrow push ups so you're going to make a bit of a triangle with your hands like this coming all the way down and pushing all the way up just 10 of those and the second time through you're just going to do shoulder width press ups so just coming down all the way up and then the third time through you're going to do wide push ups like this so nice and wide all the way down pushing back up again and that's the upper body and we sprint again then when you reach this station this is the lower body station so we'll do three different exercises we're going to do jump lunges jump squats and then we're actually gonna do burpees. So that actually involves a little bit of an upper body as well. And then sprint again for this drill. A little bit of agility involved in this one. So what we're gonna do is start with the ball. So diagonal, weaving around that cone, around that cone, through that gate, and then back round. And then what we're gonna do is leave the ball, do the exact same thing without the ball, there and back. And then you sprint to this final drill over here. Then the starts over there, so you can just play the ball all the way to the start, ready to go again. And then what I'm doing is just a flat out sprint again. This time I'm using a parachute on a windy day like today, it's gonna to be absolutely perfect. The wind is kind of coming this way, so it's gonna catch that parachute nicely and offer some good resistance. Sprinting the whole width of the 18 yard box. If you don't have a parachute, you can just do another sprint. And then once we get through the gate, that's one circuit complete. And I'm gonna do this three times in total. So I've got the player tech vest on here so I can track how long the session runs for, how many sprints I do and things like that. So it should be good and interesting to see that data once we're done. But anyway, I'm gonna do a bit of a dynamic stretch and then we'll get right into this drill. Here we go. Breaking down my walls again Just 
what a session. That's so tough guys. Recommend giving that all a go. Great session. So really got a bit of everything. That's a really complete training session. When I get home, I'm gonna check the data on the player tech, see how many miles, the distance I covered, the sprints and everything like that. And we'll see what the app says about that session. So I'll see you guys at home. All right guys, so just biked back to my house. So I'm gonna have a look at the data from the player tech vest. So what I have to do is I have to open the app, go here, go to sync, turn this on, and it should recognize the session and give me all the data from it. So while we're waiting for that, by the way, just to let you guys know, I did post about it on my community section on my YouTube channel, but I uploaded a new blog to my website. So you just go to the website, click blog, and it's this one here, the power of visualization. Really good mental tool if you want to improve your performance. So I recommend giving that one a read if you haven't already to let you know about the maestro program i'm currently editing it right now just completed day one as far as the release date those details will be coming soon i just want to make sure my priority is getting it edited and done as professionally as possible i want to make sure it's the best quality for you guys before i announce an official date it will be in july i can guarantee that just not sure exactly when just yet hopefully early on in july let's have a look at the session here so it's pretty cool it can actually map out your training pitch there so you can see that's the pitch that i was training on so covered 2.78 miles did 23 sprints around 20 miles per hour for the sprints especially with the parachute on as well that's not bad at all so it says my sprint distance was 671 meters in total so the app's telling me that my maximum ratio of activity to rest was an incredible 58 percent which is the intensity you should look to train at to improve your game performance so if the app's telling me it's a good session it must be good eh so you guys should give that one a go if you want to improve your fitness and all your different areas of your game i thought it was a really good session very tiring but very satisfying at the same time so for the rest of the day pretty much what i'm going to be doing is editing the maestro program then I'm going to be watching some World Cup games and recovering because I'm going to be training all this week as well. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button for me. Hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos. And I will see you guys in my next video.